by the way. This is not the first time in our history that we have had inflation in single digits. In 1958, for example, inflation was zero. <laughs> there is therefore nothing unprecedented. In fact, Ghana has been very lucky in this regard. This shows us our import prices versus our export prices. Now we are an exporter of oil. Between 1997 and 2000, for example, you saw the prices of cocoa, gold, and, 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 and so on. The change for this government is that we've seen that cocoa prices in the, just in the last three years have increased by 93%. Gold prices have increased by 90%. And we have inherited oil and now an exporter of oil. We could not be luckier in terms of the external economic environment. But what are we experiencing today? The performance of the agri sector, in particular, is very worrying. Ladies and gentlemen, you take a look at this graph, you will see that at the end of 2008, agricultural sector growth was 7.4%. At the end of last year, it had declined all the way to 0.8%. Hyperbole. But certainly does not belong in the realm of economic management. The best response Ghanaians can give to the NDC Green Book is to show them the red card in 2020.